a graphic test of genuine Mercedes-Benz alloy wheels versus dangerous fakes. Counterfeit replicas sourced via an Australian-based online store breaking apart in an industry standard 50 km an hour pothole test, while genuine rims run through the same exercise without incident, maintaining their structural integrity. The obvious question, how and why did two virtually identical wheels deliver such dramatically different results? We've come to the Laboratory for Materials Analysis and Testing, LMATS, a NATA accredited specialist facility in Melbourne's southwest to find out. So Yashwin, what's the process? So you take the shiny clear coating of those wheels, of the counterfeit and original wheel, um, and put them through a series of metallurgical tests like uh, penetrant testing, radiography, chemical and mechanical tests like tensile hardness, impact testing. You realise that the chemical makeup of these two wheels is very similar, but the difference in quality of those two wheels lies in the way the fake wheels was manufactured. There might have been impurities present that led to gaseous pores. This can be due to excessive amount of hydrogen or oxygen present during the manufacturing process. So Yashwin, what does that cause? So these poor manufacturing conditions led to major porosity in the wheel. And you can actually see those pores with naked eye. And of course, poor manufacturing conditions led to other defects like hot tearing, micro and macro pores that you could see in the metallographic analysis. And of course, this led to serious weakness in the fake wheel. The counterfeit wheel looked worryingly similar to the genuine rim it's copied from. But potentially lethal defects lurk beneath the surface of the fake wheel. You might think you're getting a great deal, but the major concern with fake parts is safety. And using them, knowingly or otherwise, means you're taking a huge risk. The way to avoid safety concerns posed by fakes is to ensure you source genuine parts from the vehicle maker's authorised supply chain. For safety's sake, genuine is best.